plans this summer? Well, um, probably like most of you, um, our summer is kind of based on the coronavirus. Um, me and my husband were talking the other day, we went for a nice long walk, and we were talking about the summer, and then we were talking about staying healthy, and I do, or we do believe in a whole food plant-based diet as a way of life. So that's, you know, where we're gonna continue on that path. But we also know we could probably do some, some more to increase our immune system, um, just to stay healthy and do our part. It doesn't mean we're bulletproof, it just is. It just helps the, that we can do what we can do as people. So I wanna share that with you today. He asked me to kind of create a plan for the family that we could realistically do for the whole summer. So if this virus does hit again this fall, um, we'll just feel really good about our immune system. And of course it's all in God's hands, but we did our part. So I wanna share that with you. And um, I also asked Dr. Ace, who a lot of my tips come from Dr. Ace, um, to uh, chime in on this. So he'll be bopping in on this video um, to share his thoughts on some of our immune building things, immune building things that you can do as a family. Hi everyone, I'm here with Dr. Chin Chauncey. He also goes by Dr. Ace and he is a board certified family medicine doctor. He also specializes in anti-aging and also integrative medicine. Um, he, he does so much more but um, you'll see as you get to know him a little better. And we're gonna share with you a series of how to improve your immune system um, for the summer or for life. All right, one of my appointments with Dr. Ace was about chia seeds. And you should know this about him if you ever see him and you choose him to be your doctor. You're gonna get a prescription and he's gonna give you like 10 things on the prescription. It's not the usual prescription like take this pill, take this pill. It's 10 things you have to do. And when you see him again, and you're thinking you're doing really good, you've done nine out of the 10 things he asked you to do, he's gonna ask you about the one thing you never did. So just to give you a heads up. So one of those things, Chia. <laughs> um, I, I saw Chia before, but I never really embraced it. I didn't really know the benefits of it until you sat and explained it to me. And then once I discovered Chia through you, I have it every day and like I look forward to it. I make chia pudding, we sprinkle it on our salads. We use it as an egg replacer. There's so many so many ways to get chia and it's not expensive. It's easy to get organic and I absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to share with us today the benefits, why chia is so important. We know omega-3s, mm -hmm. maybe you can explain that a little bit yeah. what you think, but why is, why is chia a great thing to add into your life every day or just about every day? All right, here we go. No, okay. <laughs> Chia, we're adding chia to a smoothie. Let's uh, let's see what you put in that. All right, this is what I do. I basically take turmeric, I peel it, and I take one small piece, put it in there like that. Then after that, I take probably about a tablespoon full of chia and put it in there. Then I take one banana and put it in there. I add water to it, the bottom, just a little bit to give me a, a mixture that'll kind of make a cream. Take the blender top, put it on, and basically... Yeah, so chia has omega-3s, it has some proteins, and it has good fiber. It is easy to digest, and it keeps you full. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of benefit from chia. And what that does is it kind of gives me a cream. And then you eat that or you drink start it? Off with it? Nope. Okay. And I add my bananas. To it. So if you want to lose weight, then you want to add chia pudding because chia will allow you to, you know, you might have a couple of tablespoons of chia and it's only 300 calories, and it will keep you feel full. Right. You probably won't want to eat after that anything else. Yeah. The reason why I grind up the chia seeds with the turmeric and a banana first, a little right? bit of water first yeah. is because what I try to do is I try to get the chia seeds to get grounded up. And if you do it without any water, what happens is the chia seeds kind of fly all over everywhere. So yeah. if you have some water in and then some uh, uh, banana, you have some banana in there, what happens is it makes like a little cream almost okay. like a cream you could pour over ice cream or something like yeah that. okay cool thank you you're the best 
<laughs> no, you're supposed to, this is where you say, no, you're the best. No, you're the best. <laughs> Thanks. If you have a lot of inflammatory things going on in your body, you probably have a lot of omega-6s, homocysteine levels are high, inflammation markers are high, then we need an antidote, something that directly com fights or combats omega-6s, which is omega-3. And a natural source of omega-3 is cheetah, better than fish oil. Another... Right, the fish oil. You fish don't oil. have to get omega-3 from fish oil. Yeah, because nowadays yeah. I feel like you know, we're dumping a lot of radioactive waste into our ocean. Right. And the fishes are traveling all the time, so yeah. they're picking things up, all the dump uh, from the ocean. So we're pretty much putting it right back into ourselves. But that's another video. That's another video, <laughs> yeah. But okay. And I add my bananas to it. Oh, I didn't even, I'm and learning then, something new then today. I add water. Yeah. And then I make a smooth banana. Shake. Shake. And this is room temperature, of course. Yeah. And it's at room temperature. Wow, I didn't know that about you. You think you know somebody. <laughs> Alright, cool. So how many bananas are you going to put in there? Uh, probably going to put in, let's see, this is three, five, this is eight, and there's one already in there, so it's 13 altogether. Okay, 13 ripe bananas, maybe, and you do this 14. You do this once a day? Uh, yes, this particular smoothie that I make once a day, then okay. I'll make a different smoothie later. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> but omega-3 will directly help with inflammation, it is anti-aging, it helps with increasing your fiber intake easily, a lot of people have really hard time increasing their fiber around 50-60 grams, and just by having a one little cup of chia, you'll have really good fiber intake, which will help your gut flow better, it's good for your probiotics inside the gut, so automatically it's good for the brain. Chia in the body the omega-3s will become DHA. Even a little bit, not a lot, but it'll become DHA. And DHA goes to the brain and helps with protection of the nerves and development of the nerves and helps with the inflammation in the brain and it acts and supports the brain function to protect itself. All right, once I get this all stirred up, I will cover it and put it in the refrigerator for an hour and then I will whisk it again and then it will be ready to separate into cups for um, eating. So, so in terms of immunity, our immune cells need, so for example, like red blood cells, mm -hmm. although they're not part of the immune cells, but they deliver nutrients to pretty much every place in the body, they have a place for omega-3. So wow. who's, who's delivering the omega-3 down to your, yeah. in, in the body? Well, that's the red blood cells. So in order to keep your red blood cells healthy so that they can carry oxygen, they can carry all the other nutrients, you want less inflammation and you want a lot of electrons, well, omega-3s will serve that role for you because omega-3s have a lot of oxygen carrying capacity. And when, when and that oxygen is now not oxidative stress. And that's what we want. We mm -hmm. want red blood cells to be carrying good oxygen mm -hmm. than the bad reactive oxygen species. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what happens in the blood with chia. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good to have. Yeah. <laughs> I do it now. Dinner? Dinner it's, is the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he never asked me about chia anymore because I do it. He just asked me what I what I haven't been doing. <laughs> I caught I her every time. Started. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, is there anything else on chia or is that good? Mm. Oh, chia serves a really good thing. I mean, as you said, like it, yeah. it's good binding, egg replacement, adds value to pretty much anything that you want to mm -hmm. thicken up. You can make ice cream out of it or putting mm -hmm. dessert out of it. So yeah. you can add it's it. Easy. It's and easy. It's easy. It's delicious. It gives you good protein. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a it's a win win, and it's like super easy. And and during this video, you, if you check the link down below, I'll show you how I make chia pudding and how we fit it into our life as a family. So thank you, Dr. H. Sure.